take a live look right now from our Lookout Mountain camera over Denver. You can see beautiful sunrise out there, clear skies. Pretty clear shaky. start to our morning. Yeah, a little windy. A little windy. Camera's getting a bit of a workout this morning. <laughs> uh, we've seen wind gusts uh, over Berth at Pass at about 60 miles per hour Ooh. this morning. So it is windy there. We're going to see breezier conditions along the front range as this next round of storms moves in. Uh, and the mountains will start to pick up some snow here pretty soon. Upper 30s to low 40s, though, on the wake up forecast this morning. It's a nice start. We'll see a little mix of sun and clouds today and then get close to 60 again this afternoon. So about 20 degrees warmer than where we are right now. Winds are picking up, though, ahead of this next storm. We're going to see some light snow develop in the mountains. A couple of inches possible here in the next 24 hours or so. And then a series of storms that will bring more snow to the high country. Heavier snow, it looks like, in the northern and central mountains by later in the week. Now look at our temperatures. Because of those downsloping winds, really very mild in Boulder and Arvada. Some low 50s right now. A little colder out east, uh, out of the airport, just below freezing and just above it right now in Aurora. So we've got some calmer conditions here, but it's also colder. Live look right now from our Viero camera in Fort Morgan, and it's a beautiful, quiet start. There's the view in Vail this morning. And again, the snow not falling quite yet, but you've got quite a bit more cloud cover already developing there in the mountains and some light snow possible this morning. We'll be tracking that rain and snow moving in from the west for the next few days, and this could even lead to potentially some thunder snow in the mountains a little bit later in the week, so some pockets of heavier snow. We'll be in the 30s and 40s this morning in town, and then right around 55 in Denver by 11 o'clock, so we've got a pretty nice warm-up. Typically, we're in the mid to upper 40s this time of year, so about 10 to 12 degrees above normal. By 4.30, still dry on the plains, breezy up along the I-25 corridor, closer to Erie up to Longmont, Fort Collins, you'll start to see some gustier conditions in parts of Weld and Larimer counties this afternoon. Boulder County as well, pretty windy already there this morning. Then overnight into tomorrow morning, we'll see some 30s. It's going to be a little colder tomorrow morning, and we've got a chance for a few very light rain and snow showers north of Fort Collins, likely just hitting the I-25 corridor there in Wyoming. We'll be cooler tomorrow afternoon, near 50 on Thursday, and then quite a bit colder by Friday. In fact, a good 20 degrees cooler than what we'll see today. Rain and snow developing later in the day on Friday. So I think as far as the commute goes, the evening commute could get wet, maybe a little icy in spots. We'll see a few flurries on Saturday and then a better chance for some accumulating snow on Sunday. And at this point, it looks like around two to four inches possible here across the Denver metro area. We'll keep an eye on those totals. A lot can change, but that's going to be our best chance, Jace, at some accumulation Sunday into early Monday.